Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Crystal with a K. And today, I am doing a quick Sephora haul because I just came from Sephora and I honestly love going to Sephora just to walk around and look, but I mostly, I used to go in there to buy makeup and I wanted all the new makeup and now I honestly like to focus on hair care or um, skincare, like skincare is my favorite part of Sephora. But anyway, let's jump right into it. Um, today, I'm so excited because I kind of restocked a little bit of stuff, but this is going to be a quick, short little Sephora haul. Um, first, let's go into the little bit of makeup that I got. So I did end up getting this. I don't know if this is a new shade from uh, Makeup by Mario, but it's the uh, Smoky Pink shade. I swatched it and it was just so beautiful. Um in store and what I like about makeup by Mario is they put these little sharpeners in there and they're not bad sharpeners they're actually like really good quality sharpeners but I just love this like pinky sorry I have like some swatches on my hand um, from already swatching stuff but it's like this pinky brown shade and it's just so perfect like so so perfect I love shades like this mauve um, pinky a little bit darker than my lip line but still pink you know um, I used to like really brown lip liners but lately I just don't like that exaggerated look but it's it's not for me um, right now I used to love it but not right now uh, next I got a restock you guys my eyelashes right now I have Rare Beauty on, just Rare Beauty, but I love pairing these together when I want a little bit of a more dramatic look, and then I pair one from Huda Beauty um, when I want even more of a dramatic look. So I have like three different ways. So right now I'm just wearing Rare Beauty, which this is kind of like my everyday lash, if you guys can see. I love my lashes, and um, Rare Beauty is just that girl. I when it first came out i had a hard time liking it but it's because first when you open it the formula is very wet um and you know you have to get it a little bit dry um so you just have to wait for it to get a little bit dry but it's still just the like one of my favorite mascaras um and i when i pair it with the ilia fullest volumizing mascara it's amazing ilia has two different mascaras they have this one, the Fullest Volume Mascara, and then they have the Limitless, I think, Volumizing Mascara. I don't know what it is, but this one is in this tube, and the other one is like in a little thin white tube, and my mom, personally, she likes the little white thin tube, um, but I like this one and the Rare Beauty together. This, like, if I could only choose two mascaras to wear for the rest of my life, it would be these two because they're just that good. Um... And then I got the, I think, oh no. Um, and then I also got, I tell you guys that Huda Beauty um, Easy Bake um, Powder is like my go-to because I'm oily and I don't know what it is, but this is like the only powder that will keep my makeup looking good. Um, and I got the new shade that she came out with, the Peach Pie, so I'm super excited to try this because I never got the cherry blossom powder I just got this one so I never tried the cherry blossom even though I wanted to I just never was like because I still have the one I use and I'm like ah should I get another one so I'm like no let me just keep using this one um so now for skincare which is my most loved subject of all because I love taking care of my skin and all the good stuff that comes with it um but I got a restock on my glow recipe um bright eye gel cream I love this cream like there's nothing bad to say about this eye cream the only thing that I don't like you guys and it sucks is the packaging and the packaging is cute like I love the packaging what I mean is that it doesn't get all of the product out of the bottom and I'm just like come on like you're ripping me off because if you really just use it until it pumps you're wasting so much product like there's still so much product left on the bottom of it and I just grabbed a little brush and like was like brushing the bottom and I still have the one that I got but 
it still has so much product on the bottom and I'm like, come on. Like, I love Glow Recipes packaging, but come on. And their formulas and everything, like, let's, let's not rip me off here because, you know, these things are not cheap. And I just, I love this eye cream, but even if the packaging still is like not getting all of the product out, I'm going to find a way, but I'm still going to use it because I love it. Okay, and then I restocked on my Youth to the People, Youth to the People cleanser, and I love this cleanser. It's the Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamins um, Superfood Cleanser, and it, this is the refill. And you guys, this cleanser is just like, if I could choose one cleanser, it would probably be this cleanser because it just so fresh, so clean. It just kind of feels like you're washing your face with like spa water, like cucumber water it just smells so good and then it foams so good but it's still gentle you know so this is the bottle i'm gonna grab the pump because this one is a refill so i'm gonna grab the pump from my old one and um put it on this one and i feel like this bottle like just the package was huge like so much bigger than the regular one so i think it, this is bigger like because it's a refill but I am going to put my pump in here. So I'm excited because I ran out of it and I've not been using it for like two, three months now. So I'm so excited to get a restock. Another product that I'm super excited about and I haven't tried and it just came out is the Glow Recipe um, Cloudberry Bright Essence Toner. And if you know like your skincare, essence and toner can be kind of the same thing. Um, because they're more serum-y and they're more watery. Um, and I kind of like sprayed this, not sprayed it, like pumped it on my hand in store. And it was very watery. So it is, kind of, it's mostly um, essence. But come on, you guys, come on. This packaging is so beautiful. Like Glow Recipe really is that girl. Like it's super fun. It just like brightens your day like if you're putting this on in the morning you're like oh my gosh like i'm just gonna have such a good day you know like it just looks so cute and i love their packaging and i'm just excited to try this because i know i love all of glow recipe stuff and it's never it's never too harsh so i'm just i'm excited to try this it just looks so cute like me grabbing this in the morning and just knowing that I'm going to have the best day ever because the color just makes you feel bright and happy. And that's what I love about, about Glow Recipe. I kind of feel like they're that brand that wants to make you like feel good with their playful packaging. Um, and trust me, you guys, I know there's moments for aesthetics and then there's moments playful for this. And I'm just like, of course, I keep my skincare put away, but it just like that makes me feel happy um okay last two things i got this fine comfort body and hair fragrance mist from rare beauty you guys i pray i sprayed this in store and it just like it's such a relaxing scent it really makes you feel it's such a clean scent but like citrusy so it makes you feel so good when you smell it it just, I don't know what it is about this, but it just smells so good. Like, if I spray this in my hair, I would smell like I just showered in a waterfall, like somewhere in Fiji. Like, that's how fresh it smells. And it's body mist too, but it just smells so clean and fresh. Like, if you like a clean, fresh smell, it's a body mist, so I know it's not going to last. But this, it just smells amazing. I, I love the, the, I... When I sprayed it, I was like, felt so relaxed and peaceful. I was like, wow, this really takes you somewhere, you know? Like, a lot of fragrances don't do that for me. Um, but this honestly made me feel relaxed and good. And it and you, it would even be good to spray, like, before bed. I don't know. It just smells really relaxing. Okay, last thing is, you guys, I have talked about this before. And... I have tried almost everything under the sun for scalp care, itchy scalp. I've bought like so many things to put in my hair, like oils, like little pumps, um, scalp serums, so like all of it, shampoos, salicylic acid shampoos, like all of it. But none of it relieved my itchy scalp like this product. And the, they relieve it for the moment, but they don't keep your scalp feeling fresh 
and like not itchy you know because i don't wash my hair every day i shower every day but i don't wash my hair every day i try to wash my hair two times a week i know some people can go um once a week but i do it tw twice a week because i work out a lot like i sweat a lot for my my head in the summertime i sweat all over but like I sweat if I have my hair down I'll be sweating and even if I have my hair up I will sweat from my head um, but this is my holy grail for scalp care and it's the Vegamore Grow Scalp Detoxifying Serum it's this little guy and what I love about it it has like a pointy tip and you just like run it through your hair you squeeze it and like run it through your hair before you shower and you kind of massage it in before you shower for one minute it doesn't have to stay on for 10 minutes if you want to keep it on for 10 minutes you can but it just like when you put it on you're like oh my gosh like this feels so good and then it keeps your itchy scalp at bay it doesn't it doesn't just work for the moment it keeps it at bay and yes towards like the end of my wash like t my next wash day like i start feeling itchy but because like i tell you guys i work out every day um dry shampoo if i style my hair dry shampoo makes my hair itchy um but this is my holy grail and i just love it and that's why i had to restock because there's nothing like it you guys i have like i said i have tried almost everything and this this is her this is she this is the one she's the moment she's the only one that works for me and if you have a hard time with your itchy scalp try this and let me know because it is so good it, this is like vegamore products are amazing but i feel like this is their no nobody talks about it and it's like a hidden gem in their lineup and it just it's so good but yeah, you guys, that is all for my Sephora haul today. If you guys want to see more of these, let me know. Comment down below what you guys want to see. I know my try-on hauls um, are really popular and I love doing them. But, you know, it's just right now we're, we're trying to get by in life because, you know, everything is just happening all at once and super busy and everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Um... And also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post a lot over there. So yeah, you guys, I love you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.